So I'm planting my potatoes today. Uh, we're mid-April and I, I left the bags of potatoes. All I got was four of these sort of two, two and a half kilo bags that you see outside of sort of B&Q, garden centres, things like that. Um, I'm giving my main potato patch a bit of a rest this year. Uh, I've grown potatoes in there for probably about 10 years. So I'm just giving that a rest. And what I'm actually going to do is something a bit different this year. I'm going to grow just, just these. These are the only ones I've got. And I'm going to grow them purely in containers. I have done containers um, a couple of times in the past, but not on any sort of scale. So it's something a bit new to me, but I'm just going to do them all in it this year, see how I go and, um, and just sort of see, see what happens really. Uh, so what I've got is I've got a load of these sort of two handled tree buckets that you get bigger bigger trees delivered in as a garden I sort of save any pots that I get from jobs and, and I've got all different shapes and sizes um, quite a few of them but I don't think there's quite enough so another thing I'm going to try is using old compost sacks so I'll roll the sack down and start filling from the bottom just stab a knife a few times in the bottom um, or snip a corn off just so it can drain and uh, try actually using compost sacks for, for the ones that are left over see how just see how that works really um, so I let these chit, chit at home in the bags for a little while I did get slightly sort of longer chits um, from the ones that were at the bot at the bottom so a couple of weeks ago I brought them down here and just basically fleece them over um, when it looks like it's going to be cold other than that I've just left them here and, and they seem fine uh, so yeah hopefully they they'll all be good what you really want is is chits about this sort of size just long, nice sort of short strong healthy looking chits you don't have to chit your potatoes I have just bought bought potatoes sort of late in the buying season and chucked them straight in unchitted um, and they they come up come on fine you know I, I don't think it's something that you have to do specifically um, but I, I do it if I've got the space to do it but uh, anyway I'm gonna go and fill some buckets now and uh, a few bags and then we'll start planting them so I'm using my homemade compost for this and I'm just putting about about two shovelfuls just about in the bottom basically about four or five inches just to give the potato something to bed onto so about like that so four or five inches and these are the smallest pots that I've got and they are 25 litres so I'm thinking in there possibly only one potato I might try two I might try two and see how we go but I've got all different sizes right up to 65 litres I think is the biggest um, I may even have three that are, are slightly bigger than that um, but I think I think the bulk of them are about 35 to 45 litres so probably put three potatoes in each of those and, and one or two in these smaller ones um, but we'll see how we go we, we'll take these out and start putting them in so these are all my pots as you can see they're varying different sizes but the bulk of them are about the 40 litre mark um, some of these front ones are a bit bigger 65 the taller ones and I think those wide slightly shallower ones are about 70 or 75 um, so they're plenty big enough but I'm just going to put twos and threes probably yeah probably maximum three I should think in some of the bigger ones um, I've got two types of main crops I've got King Edward and Maris Piper and I've got two second earlies I've got Charlotte and Wilger and I'm going to do them all in the containers this year so I'm just going to pop all these in and uh, and then I'll top them over with a, a bit more compost So that's all the main crop and the uh, Wilger, no sorry the Charlotte, so I have all of the Wilger 
So these will go in some of the smaller pots at just one per pot. And then whatever's left, I'm gonna try in the compost sacks. Um, now obviously, just thinking about using compost to do this, obviously these days, compost is pretty expensive you're looking at a minimum of like 15 pound for three um, but it's, it's usually for the better quality stuff it's more like sort of 18 pound for two and they're 50 litre bags so some of these bigger pots that are 65 litres you know 89 pound a pot just to grow possibly a couple of kilos of potatoes if i if i didn't have enough of my own homemade compost I wouldn't be doing it this way I'm just being honest um, because it is an, a more expensive way of doing it of course if you just want to do it for a few fresh potatoes at home or for the kids to do or something you know th then of course it's worth doing a couple of bags of compost but on this sort of scale to, f to fill all these up um, and the others I'm going to bring in now um, I'd be looking at at least a couple of hundred pounds worth of compost you know so um yeah, if, if I didn't have the excess of compost, I've now got to a point I'm making about 12 cubic metres of compost a year, roughly, um, possibly more as time goes by and my trees get bigger and I'll get more wood chip and stuff to add to all this. Um, so, I, so I'm now getting to a point where I've got an excess of compost, which is kind of the reason why I decided to do this. Um, and of course, it's not a waste of compost because when I tip the potatoes out and harvest them, um, all of that used compost will go back into the system right at the start as a brown so i'll just add it add it straight into the system again and it will all be recycled and reused but um but yeah I, I wouldn't do it if i had to buy buy the compost to do it just just because of the price of compost these days but anyway i'm going to fill up some more pots and i'll get some compost sacks ready and i'll cut some holes in them and then i'll get the rest of these planted Right, so I need to use about six compost sacks to finish off all the potatoes. So what I'm basically doing, making sure the top of the bag is fully open and then just rolling it down and then get about the same amount of compost as I was putting in the buckets. And I'll basically start two potatoes in there in an old compost sack on again yeah it's about four or five inches but all I'm going to do just to make sure they drain is just stab three or four holes along each side just so that they can drain maybe a couple in the bottom as well and that'll just let them drain. Hopefully, I can always slice them a bit more if they get wet. But that should hopefully drain. And then as, as the potatoes grow, I can just unroll the bag to a height of, of where I want it to, to be. I, if they get a little bit unsteady, I can always use, I've got a load of those um, metal temporary fencing stakes. I could always just put one of those straight through the bag just gently down and into the ground just to hold them and stop them from falling over. Um, but we'll, we'll see how steady they are as I go. But basically I'll leave them rolled down and then as I fill them, as the potatoes grow, I'll just unroll it. So hopefully it'll work well. So I'll just get these wheel drew in and then we'll be filling them up. So I just need one more bag. Just put these last three in one bag and then we'll be done. So all I've got to do now is basically top off over the potatoes with three or four inches of compost. And then I will give them a little bit of a water, although it actually looks like it's going to rain any minute. Um, but I'll give them a little bit of a water just because the compost is, is a little bit dry. And then what I'll do is as they start to grow through the compost, I'll let them come up to three or four inches of height above the level of the compost. And then I'll top them up again, just leaving the, the top half inch inch of the growing point exposed. Um, and I'll do that all the way to the top. And I'll probably leave an inch or two inches at the top. 
um, and I will try with some of them with mulching them with like grass clippings, uh, maybe some wood chip, um, just to try and hold the moisture in a bit. Others I, I may leave just with a compost right to the top um, and just see if that makes any difference um, with, with sort of holding the moisture in, maybe even with the grass clippings, sort of adding a bit of nutrients. Um, if it looks like there's a frost coming, um, what I'll do is I'll make sure I top them right over. Um, you can completely bury them just, just under the surface and they'll keep coming and, and, and popping through the, the surface there, but it just protects them from the frost. That's, that's the good thing really with, with growing in con containers that I'm actually quite looking forward to because I have had my potatoes hit by frost a few times. So this way is quite simple to just quickly come out with a barrel load of compost and, and bung a bit on if it looks like a cold night's coming. Um, but hopefully by the time they come out of these pots, we should be sort of end of May, um, uh, it depends on how fast they grow and, and they should, um, we should have no more frost, hopefully. But um, basically I'm gonna get on and do this um, and then we're all done and I will have a little catch up. I'll, I'll show you know how they've come on later on in the summer in the, in, and before harvest and I'll show you how much I get out of them as, as well. Um, but until then, take it easy guys and we will see you next time.